Was Azure Lane in violation of the Geneva Convention? Okay, that was a little bit of clickbait, but bear with me, there is some truth in that statement. To look into this, we have to go back to the most recent patch notes. And I don't mean the ones that are leaking now with the new French ships, which I'm very excited for, by the way, but rather looking at the last patch notes, which were largely overlooked by the community. There wasn't much going on last week. It was kind of a break week, so that's understandable. As far as events go, we really just had the Princeton rerun event. But further down in the update, log, there were some changes to skins. And no, I'm not referring to the popularly discussed change to a gear skin, where she will no longer spam this hand gesture during her idle animation. Instead, the interesting part comes from the changes to Jervis, Hermione, Valiant, and Perseus. I think it's pretty obvious to see what they have in common. These are all nurse skins. Now, many of the changes made here are actually pretty minor. At first glance, you might not even find them. So let's go through each one of them. Here, Hermione has a change to her hat, where the white cross inside the heart on her hat is removed. Also, she has a white cross hairpin that is removed, and both of these changes are reflected in her chibi formation as well. Similarly, Jarvis has a change to her hat, where the red cross is removed and instead replaced with this gold symbol, also reflected in the chibi. Valiant skin actually has what looks to be the most changes. All over the skin are what look to be like PlayStation buttons, and they have been removed or replaced with hearts. Can you guys count the number of replaced symbols here in this skin and leave your number in the comments below? Finally, the last change in this batch is to Perseus's skin. This one actually required me to take a double take to find out what the change was, but once again, it is a red cross being removed on the white coffee cup on her desk. Now, if you assume that the PlayStation button looking symbol is similar to a cross, you can see that all of them have in common the removal of a red or white cross. And that would start to make sense if you understand the importance of the protected symbol of the red cross in the Geneva Conventions. For those of you who don't know what the Geneva Conventions are, really briefly, they are a set of four treaties and three protocols signed in Switzerland by various nations throughout the centuries that codify the minimum international protections granted to wartime non-combatants, or in other words, what it means to commit a war crime. An important step of these conventions is the establishment of the International Committee for the Red Cross and Red Crescent. This is the institution famous for sending doctors and nurses into battle to help save injured soldiers incapable of fighting. Countries that have ratified the treaty are required to protect the humanitarian workers of this institution. In order to avoid confusion and mistakes, they've also come up with a symbol that would clearly distinct them as non-combatants. Currently, the Red Cross, the Red Crescent, and the Red Crystal are actively used as protective symbols. And one may not use those symbols without expressed permission in these international treaties. This makes sense because of the protective nature of these symbols. There is a lot of incentives of special agents of warring factions to fake these symbols in order to gain a strategic advantage. And there are definitely examples Examples of this occurring in the past. So you might think it's fair to crack down on the unauthorized use of the Red Cross by warring soldiers. But what about media and entertainment? Well, the Red Cross organization is famous for cracking down on movies using the Red Cross. A picture of Nurse Joy that I showed earlier in this video was actually shown in 1999 in Japan. However, if we look at Nurse Joy's evolution more recently, we can see the color change from red to almost like a purple. And then they get rid of the cross altogether and go straight with a Pokeball. This phenomenon of changing the Red Cross applies to games as well. Early releases of games like Halo and Doom both had Red Crosses to designate health packs. Those were changed to Red Pills or a Red H in subsequent versions of those games. Even smaller indie games are not immune to this. The developers of Prison Architect were given a warning to immediately remove the pixelated Red Cross here on this ambulance. So while I don't know if the organization themselves reached out to Azure Lane to ask them to remove these symbols, I think it's safe to say that they were removed in order to avoid any violations of the Geneva Convention. And this is no ordinary copyright infringement. Article 85 essentially says that it is a war crime to use one of the protective emblems recognized by the Geneva Conventions to deceive opposing forces or to use other forms of treachery. And while I don't think these were used to deceive any opposing forces, you be the judge of whether Azure Lane is a form of treachery.
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that brief video. Hopefully it explains why those skins were abruptly changed. Maybe you even learned something today. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Take care and until next time.